Okay, so if you play classical guitar, chances are that you've probably wanted to show somebody some classical guitar music before. Now, if they haven't heard it though, they're going to think it's music by composers such as Johann Sebastian Bach, or maybe some flamenco Spanish sounding music. And even though it definitely can be these things, as I'm sure you know, it can be a whole lot more than that as well. So in this video, that's what I'm going to show you, so stick around. So first off, if you're new here, welcome to For the Classical Guitarist. My name is John, and I'm going to be showing you 10 pieces that you can show people that show a wide variety of things that the classical guitar can do. The pieces that are used in this video are all pieces that are used to show a variety of playing. Now because of this, I've probably left out a lot of the classical guitar hits, as we call them, because many of them, unfortunately, all sound pretty similar to each other. But if you think that there's pieces I should have included instead, let me know in the comments below. One more thing before we get started. All of the playing clips that you're about to see in this video are from people who follow me over on Instagram and have agreed to let me use their videos in this video. Now if you want to be featured in a future video, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and be on the lookout in my story for when I want people to be involved in videos. Anyway, let's get started with the first piece. So the first piece on this list is Sunburst by Andrew York. Now much like many of Andrew York's pieces, it is so accessible. And that's because it's poppy, it sounds impressive, and it's not too long, so you can show someone it and it won't take up more than three or four minutes. Let's go ahead and give the opening as well as the impressive part a listen. Say when somebody wants to listen to classical guitar, they're expecting something a bit more soothing and relaxing. Well, no problem. This piece is going to do just that. The piece that I want to show you second would be Julia Florida by Augustine Barrios. Honestly, I don't have a whole lot more to say about this other than that anybody who hears this piece hopefully will feel as soothed and as relaxed as the music is supposed to evoke. But what if when somebody thinks of classical guitar, they really think of that typical Spanish and flamenco sound? You know, something like this. I'm sure that I would get some comments complaining if I didn't include this piece in this video, and that piece would be a series by Isaac Albanese. And even though this song was originally written for the piano, it's become so common in the guitar repertoire that it's pretty much synonymous with the classical guitar sound.
people think of nylon string guitars, if they're not thinking about Spanish music, the other thing that might come to mind would be Brazilian music, such as bossa nova or samba. Piece number four is a great arrangement of a song by the famous Brazilian singer Antonio Carlos Jobim, done by the great Rowan Dion's. Let's give it a listen. Okay, so while we're in the area of South America, there are tons of other styles of music that people might be familiar with. The next one that comes to mind would be the tango. Now song number five shows the tango in a little bit of a different light, and that piece would be Tango in Sky by Roland Dion's. What makes this piece unique is this piece is actually making fun of how Americans play the tango by doing tons of gimmicky things that actual tango players wouldn't do, but it's what many people expect when they think of tango. So let's give it a listen and you'll see what I'm talking about. In my experience, if you ever want to impress a guitarist who doesn't play classical guitar, show them this piece. This piece uses a technique that's not only for classical guitar, but it sounds, in my opinion, the best on classical guitar. This technique would be called the tremolo technique, and the piece that I'm going to be using to show it is, of course, the famous Francisco Terragas Recuerdos de la Alhambra. So many people are impressed with things that just sound fast. Whether it's hard to play or not, speed seems to be the impressive thing to many. And if the person you're showing these pieces to is interested in fast playing, you definitely want to go ahead and show them Paganini Caprice number 5. This piece just sounds fast and it just sounds impressive. And it definitely is not easy to play, at least easy to play really clean and well. And if you're trying to impress an electric guitarist, you can remind them that this is the piece that Steve Vai couldn't even play in the movie Crossroads. Thank you. 
the same lines of trying to find a piece that just sounds impressive would be a piece by the Brazilian composer Hector Villalobos. Now this piece is from his set of 12 etudes, and it's actually the last one, etude number 12, and it sounds very metal and rock-like is the best way I could say it. Now to some this might sound a little gimmicky because it does just have one chord shape moving up and down the neck the whole entire time, but it's for this reason that that's why the piece has this really big, full, loud sound the whole entire time. This piece has fast scale passages, and the middle section of the song even sounds like something that would be a breakdown in some kind of rock song. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> If the person that you're trying to show these pieces to is maybe into music that is a little bit more out there, I would recommend showing them this piece because it's not too crazy, but it's definitely a little bit more interesting, you could say, than some of the other pieces that were listed earlier. This piece was written to show the kinds of sounds and commotions you might hear if you live in a very populated city area with traffic and tons of people all around. Finally, song number 10. Now this is one that I would highly recommend to not show somebody unless if you know that they're already interested in maybe some more interesting classical music to begin with. And also this one is definitely one of the longest pieces on this list. So if they're listening to the whole thing, make sure that there's somebody that's going to be willing to sit down and listen to something for that long. The piece would be the Usher Waltz by the Russian composer Nokita Kashkin. As far as I know, this piece is meant to show somebody more or less going crazy in the sounds that might be happening in their mind, especially in the section that you're going to hear in just a moment. Also, if you're a classical guitarist and you don't know this piece, I would highly recommend to go listen to it, as well as all of the other ones I listed before, and the links, like I said, will be posted in the descriptions below. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you guys agree or disagree with this list, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If there's things I should have included instead, feel free to share what those pieces are. I want to hear from you. If you like what you saw in this video, I hope that you would consider giving this video a like and possibly subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell to be notified about future videos. If you want to watch more videos, feel free to hit one of the videos up here by my head somewhere, and I'll see you next time.